Welcome to Phoenix Creation. Hey Phoenixies, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna make another handmade doll, but this time it's different because this time I'm not using any sort of craft wire, hot glue gun, or paper clay on your demand. So let's get started. So over here, as you can see, I've taken this craft wire and newspaper. Don't worry, guys, I'm not gonna use any sort of craft wire in this. You just have to see what I'm doing. You have to just use this craft create a coiling like this, which which has one side very tiny and the other one little bit wide and then you have to stick this with normal glue and then you can remove the craft wire and this is what you get so you have to make two of these and after that again you'll use the craft wire as the base and then create another coiling and then this is a newspaper I'll just fold it like this and then stick it then again fold it and stick it Alright, so once this is done, now I'll just use this glue and then start rolling these two pieces with the newspaper. Just like you can roll the sushi with chopsticks. <laughs> That's what the best I could find just to define this guys. So don't worry about that. You just have to fold it and then again you have to take your scissors and cut the sides like this. So now again I'll just use this straw in the middle. It's basically a plastic straw and then these sides will be made with this coiling which is of course the hands and once that is done again I'll use this newspaper and stick it on the lower part of the body alright so now it's time to stick it on the neck and of course the plastic straw I'll stick this newspaper on that as well and then I'll start applying this newspaper rolls on the parts I need the body to be nice. So I'll just stick these newspapers on top of that. So just the way it's done, now I'll take this newspaper and I'll just crush it like this. Once this is done, I'll just stick it on top of the neck. So this would be that of course and now you can see I'll just fold the legs and the hands and it's nicely movable so you can make a movable doll without craft wire, handmade paper clay or anything like that because I was getting so many requests of you guys so I had to make this. Then of course I'll stick a newspaper on the head and then newspaper over here as well. So once that is done I'll keep on applying the newspaper till when I get satisfied and the body looks nice because over here we are not using any kinds of paper clay so make sure you use the newspapers to give the body its shape and then you have to take this square shape of newspaper and fold it into this shape so this will be the nose and you'll stick that as well so once that is done again this is another newspaper stripe I'll just stick that also and then I'll cut this part Okay, so after cutting you'll just have to stick it on each of the sides for the ears now let's start painting the body of the doll and of course I'm using acrylic paint you can also use fabric paint instead and paint the skin and then of course this dark brown color on the head just for the bees and then I'll just make the facial expressions too which are the eyes lips and all Alright, so now as you can see the eyes are completed. Now I have just I have left to make these lips as well. And once that is done, the face is now completed as you can see. Now let's make the hair. So of course I'm using this card paper and I'll just keep on rolling this silk thread and it's a very lightish brown color. So I decided that I'll make the hairs with this color today. So now I'll just cut it from the side. And this is what it looks one side is just large and the other one is little bit smaller so I'll make few more of them like this and this is what it looks like the last one will be equal from each of the sides just to stick at the back and the other ones will be side parting because I'm going for that over here and I'll start sticking it and just this one the last one Alright now let's give her the haircut and I'll make her hairs little short this time 
so after i'm done with that let's start making the clothes so for that i'm using this very pretty black fabric and it's a stretchable fabric so i'll just cut the v shape from the up and then i'll stick it on the top half of the body and then i'll roll it on the back side as well so this is what it looks right now. Now this is a very nice black mesh fabric you can see and it's covered with all these beautiful sequins, gems and studs and I'll just make this ruffle then I'll just take the measurements across the waist of the doll and then of course tie this knot so that it keeps in place and then I'll start applying this on the doll. So this will create an illusion of a very flowy dress. And that's what I'm doing, gonna do over here so once that is done now this is the same mesh fabric but very tiny stripe I'll just make a ruffle of that as well which will create the sleeves so I'll now stick it on each of the sides on the hands once that is done let's make her belly so for that I'm using these two card paper and foam sheet cutouts so I'll just stick it on top of each other and then on the back side as well so this will create a very tiny pieces of belly and it's very beautiful pair of shoes for her. So I'll just now stick it on the leg. So once that is done, these are the cutouts for the hands as well. And I'm going to stick it on each of the sides and let's do it. So once that is done, I'll just create this white pearl bead on the dress. And then this one is like a bow and that is also done. Then I'll just paint her hands basically a palm with black color just to give the illusion of these beautiful gloves and then you can see how bendable it is and i decided to make this on you guys's demand because you were requesting so much to make a doll because i know some people you might not have paper clay at home or craft wire so i thought that let's make this one for you guys so if you guys like this video please make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video you will be notified. Till next time, bye bye.